Okay, so the first card is the Three of Swords, so it looks like you've been dealing with a very difficult situation and very difficult people. You're trying to, you've got a Mercury here in a Libra over here, so it might be a legal situation that you're dealing with as well, uh, because Mercury is about, uh, you know, uh, thinking a lot, and uh, Libra is about legalities. So you might be uh, dealing with a third party situation as well, but it could be a legal situation that you have been dealing with. And, you know, with the Three of Swords, it's usually uh, things not going too well at this particular point. There's been a lot of lies, deception, um, you know, a lot of problems going on as far as this legal uh, situation that you're dealing with. So you've got the Two of Swords above it. So um, this is about legal um, decisions being made over here. And, um, you know, you've got this huge wolf over here. So whoever you've been dealing with has been quite um, nasty, really. And uh, maybe they have been, uh, you know, been very aggressive as well. So uh, whatever legal situation it seems, you're waiting for a decision to be made because you've got the emperor as well below it. So you've got that decision that you're waiting with with the two of swords. The person you're dealing with is quite nasty as well, uh, giving you a lot of problems. And you've got this emperor over here uh, waiting for a decision to come in, a legal decision to come in. The, le the emperor card is ruled by Archangel Michael. So it is about uh, legalities as well. And you've got that, you know, almost like that court courthouse facade in the back over there. So it looks like you're waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in. So in the past, you've got the Empress over there, and that is uh, you, um, you know, being in a very productive um, phase of your life. So things had been going well for you. It seems like, you know, materially and financially, uh, things were coming your way. You may have begun new projects, uh, but you had been putting a lot of effort into it. You might even be looking after somebody. So it's a very nurturing card. So you might be uh, somebody who looks after people a lot and uh, or this even could be a card about being pregnant. So this could be in a pregnancy that also that you were going through. You've got the Queen of Pentacles over here. So this is a lot of focus on money. So it looks like with the Empress card and the Queen of Pentacles, you have been focused a lot on your work. Uh, you know, you've been putting a lot of creativity into that work as well. And this has been the thing that has been generating finance. You've got Venus here in Taurus over here. So finances have been coming in, but you're very, very focused on this, um, on your job, on your work as well. And it's been producing a lot of abundance. Now it seems like there's some kind of legal issue that you're dealing with at the moment. And going to the future, you've got that Prince of Swords over here. So a decision, you're waiting for the decision and you will get news of that decision soon with the Prince of Winter over here. And um, there looks like there might be some kind of money coming in over here. Um, there might be some kind of settlement that is going to be made because it's followed by the Two of Pentacles over here. And this is showing that money coming is going to be coming in uh, for you. So it looks like whatever this legal decision is, you have been dealing with somebody at the moment. Uh, with the Prince of Swords, uh, that communication comes in because you've got Mercury here in Gemini. So that communication of that um, decision comes in for you. And it looks like money is going to be coming in with it. Um, it looks like, you know, you have been juggling finances quite a bit, but it looks like there's going to be some kind of settlement. So it looks like the decision is going to be going in your favor at the moment. You are stressed about, out about this legal decision, but that it looks like it's going to be going in your favor uh, and money is going to be coming in with that two of pentacles. So bottom of the deck, you've got the six of cups over here. So there's some kind of offer coming in from, for you. It looks like it might be an offer from somebody that you've known in the past or you've worked with in the past. Uh, so, you know, there's almost this childhood um well, you've known them in the past, uh, and um, there's a child over here. It's a new beginning of some brand new thing that you want to do. So it looks like a really good offer, and maybe you get along pretty well with this person. So some kind of offer coming in, but it and you know it's going to make you pretty happy as well. So and it looks like you have worked with this person in the past. You've got this seven of swords over here and uh, the fool. So you have been through a very, very difficult situation and it looks like it was a legal situation as well. With the seven of uh, swords, uh, a lot of lies, deception, uh, nastiness that went down, theft. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, people doing things behind your back. A really awful situation to have been with. Uh, you can see this big, uh, dark shadow of a person, um, you know, 
overseeing what is going on and people stealing things in the middle of the night. So a lot of sneaky behavior been going on over here. And this might have been even uh, to do with legalities as well. So somebody using, um, uh, you know, untruthful means to get their way. Now it looks, uh, the fool is crossed in uh, this particular card. So it, sh it looks like, uh, you know, this is now uh, going into the past um, and you are now going to be making a brand new beginning and you are going to be moving on from this particular situation. So the fool is just, you know, letting everything go and moving forward uh, into something that is more productive. So you are starting a new cycle over here and you're going to start uh, getting over uh, whatever this problem was. So you are coming to the close of whatever this legal situation, you know, this may not have gone in your favor, whatever it happened, because these people used, um, you know, nasty means to get their way around. Um, and, you know, they, they had you, uh, you know, they were almost um, taking advantage of you, you can see here, and uh, maybe bullying you in a sense. Uh, but now you have made a decision and you are now moving forward. You're ending that particular cycle. So you've got the Queen of Swords over here. So you are very determined in this last year to get uh, going or get moving and leave the situation behind. You are, you are uh, you know, are in a very defensive position, having uh, gone through quite a bit. You can see she's holding that sword in front of her uh, and, you know, people are st you know standing back. So people are now starting to take note of the fact that you have a lot of power, you're wielding a lot of power in your hand, and you are very determined to move forward, even if it's by yourself. Because the Queen of Swords tends to be somebody that's been through a divorce or through some kind of separation and has gone through a lot. And, you know, uh, maybe whatever ended, ended in uh, a legal case as well, because the Queen of Swords is also about legalities. But you are very determined to move forward, and you're not taking uh, anything, any any uh, nonsense from anybody. Uh, and you can see the people that you dealt with was this Five of Swords. So, uh, you know, maybe they won in this particular case, and the outcome wasn't in your favor. And that's because a lot of the truth was kept from you. You can see this person's eyes are closed over here. Uh, you, you know, and although they were trying, you were trying to wield your truth, it seems like they um, got the upper hand because of the lies and deception that they... Um, that they, you know, they, because there was so much of lies and deception, they won that particular case. So whatever um, legal situation you were dealing with, uh, it seems there was a lot of deception. They seem to have won because they're dancing here. It's almost as though, you know, they're gloating over their victory that they had. And there you are left in the dark uh, and, you know, having lost a lot. So there might have been a, a big loss on your part. And this is probably the reason why you are making a clean break and you're getting away from it. On your mind, you want to make a clean break and you want victory. You've got this Ace of Swords over here. This is you taking your power back as well. So standing up for yourself and taking power and control. Now also you want divine intervention. You've got the wings of that angel over here. So you do want uh, justice, divine justice. You want them to get their karmic uh, what is due to them karmically. So you are hoping for that to come through. This has been playing on your mind. So going into the future, you've got, um, this is the, uh, let's see, the Knight of Wands. Um, and this is showing that, uh, you know, you might uh, be actually moving away physically. So this is some travel. You can see this man's in this uh horse and cart over here, but also, you know, relocating. Maybe an offer comes in for you for a new job and you decide that you're going to move home and you're going to go and do this work somewhere else. Uh, the uh, Knight of Wands is always about going and doing a job somewhere else. It's about travel. It's about communicating with foreign people, um, you know, going on to that international front. So it looks like you are moving or leaving behind everything and you want to move um, forward, and it looks like this is coming in for you. So the, whatever this offer is, it's going to involve some kind of travel, uh, and it's going to be a new beginning for you, and it means that maybe you'll have to relocate to start the job somewhere else, or start a new job somewhere else. So you've got the King of Cups in your position over here, so you are taking control of your emotions. You might be uh, seeking some kind of help in the form of... Um, 
advice from somebody who's very, very supportive. You might be also getting some medical advice as well with this King of Cups. Uh, you know, this could also be somebody giving you some kind of counseling. Uh, so this could be something professional coming in. The King of Cups uh, generally deals with professional advice, professional counseling, and even, even uh, medical advice. So all of this seems to have taken quite a big toll on you, and it looks like you are going and going and asking for some kind of advice. You can see this woman's going there with a, with her cup empty to ask this man to fill it. So it looks like you're going and getting some kind of advice or some kind of treatment it could be. If you do feel ill, this is a good time to actually go and get your medical issues sorted out as well. It's important to do that. Now, what's going on around you? You've got the death card over here. So this is the end of that particular cycle. You're making a clean break. And, uh, you know, whatever change has happened, it's been a very sudden change. But it looks like there was a big dispute between you and somebody else. Uh, you can see this person's even wielding a sword. Uh, they're, you know, caught up in, in, in some kind of fight. There's a lot of defense behavior going on over here. But it looks like, you know, death is coming to make that clean break from it. There's a lot of clouds in this card. It's a very dark card. So it's showing that, you know, there was a lot of problems that you had to deal with. And it was a, it was quite a, um, difficult legal battle as well that you went through. This person was uh, very um, powerful, it seems, and you had to really defend yourself in this particular situation. Um, but it looks like you're going to be making that clean break and moving on from them. You've got the Ten of Cups, so you're hoping that this cycle is at an end and finished, and uh, you know you want it to be finished and you want to move on. And you're hoping that somebody comes in there to help you. There's some kind of choice that you're trying to, uh, some kind of decision that you're also trying to make. It's sitting in the background over there. Uh, but it looks like you want to end this particular cycle. And who wouldn't? Because it is a really nasty phase to have come through. So you've got the Three of Cups over here, the Star card over here, and the Seven of Cups. So with the Three of Cups here, there is some kind of victory coming in for you. Uh, so things are looking up. There's stability also coming. You've got that rainbow coming out of one of the cups. So it looks like things are going to start improving and you know you are going to move into a more stable uh, position. Um, you know, maybe, you, like I said, you might be moving home with this uh, Knight of uh, Wands over here and going off somewhere else to start a new job. And it's a brand new beginning and it looks like it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of stability and, you know, even your, uh, maybe even getting a new home as well with this card. <clears throat> the star card is talking about have faith, have hope, have a new vision, and you are being divinely guided. And, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people are supporting you as well with the star. Um, it's the stars, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, people uh, supporting you. With the stars, it's also about that international travel, that international communication as well into something better. Uh, you've got that shell over here, so that is, you know, almost connecting to universal energy. So you are hearing the deeper messages of the universe, and that is the thing that is guiding you. It is important with the star card, um, you know, to let go of that past, uh, to throw out all that negative emotions. You can see, uh, you know, the, all the water is being thrown out from that. So throwing out all that negative emotions, only keeping the positive things um, and having that hope for the future as well with the star. You've got the seven of cups of here, so there is an offer coming in for you. It's a really good offer. Um, you can see there's a divine offer coming in as well as this uh, worldly offer. So there might be a new job coming in, but the divine offer is, means that you're on your, you know, on your spiritual path, but also getting over that situation. So there's a lot of healing coming in with the Seven of Cups. So there's some decision that you're going to have to make, and there is uh, a good offer coming in for you. That's going to be something that involves moving away, helps you move away from whatever you've been through. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Animal Tarot, and this is for the... Oops. I just want to draw this one last card. Two have fallen out. So the first one is the Five of Spring, which says, Occasionally you may experience clashes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. 
So you are still having difficulties with people around you. You can see you're butting heads with them. There's that cloud with the uh, lightning coming out. So they are still saying things that are pretty nasty. Uh, but don't stand around uh, waiting to fight with them. It's best you just walk away uh, from this particular energy because it's it's take having its toll on you. It's taking its toll on you. You've got the Hermit card over here, so it's time uh, to t for contemplation, to retreat or go within. Uh, be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment. So you are getting enlightened. And also this is a card about spending more time by yourself and with yourself and focusing on yourself. So it's best for you to now start focusing on your work and forget all the drama of everybody else. So leave any kind of drama and focus only on yourself. You can see, uh, you know, these people are butting heads, but this light is standing there by itself. So, you know, whatever you've been through has led to a lot of enlightenment on your part. And, you know, just by that experience, you are going to be able to help other people as well get over their difficulties. But it's also time for you to focus on yourself and move forward. You've got the Ten of Spring over here. So the Tens are the endings of cycles. And you've got the St. Bernard dog over here. You're working too hard and the stress will become too much. Reach out for help uh, from others and take some time to play and enjoy life. So it is time for you to walk away from any kind of burdensome situation. And it is time for you to go and have a little bit of a break. So whatever difficulties and problems that you've been going on, whatever strife has been going on around you, it's now coming to an end. You can see this dog is even walking away. So, uh, you know, it's walking away in the snow. So you are leaving behind a very difficult situation and you are now going to be moving forward. It's time for you to focus on yourself. Leave all the drama behind. Focus com completely on yourself with this Hermit card, which is a nine. And, uh, you know, things are now starting to come to an end all that difficulty is coming to an end. So it looks like you are moving away. You have ended a very, very difficult cycle or in the process are thereof. And, you know, you've got that death card that is coming to an end, whatever difficult situation. It looks like you might travel or move away from that particular position and go and find yourself, relocate, find yourself a job somewhere else and start afresh. And it looks like you know, that's going to bring in that happiness. You've got that Three of Cups over here coming in for you. Um, and you've got the Fool over here making a brand new start. It looks like you've come through a very, very vindictive, nasty situation. And a lot of legal battles have been go going through. Uh, but, you know, with the previous energy reads, it looks like things are going to be working in your favor. Uh, and, you know, you are going to be coming up trumps in that particular situation. If you need any kind of uh, advice or kind of uh, medical intervention, please um, seek it. Uh, don't, um, you know, put put things off. And also, uh, you know, make sure that you have goals in place. So rethink your goals and come up with a new plan for the future. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.